Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be talking about AWS Elastic Block Storage, that is AWS EBS. So let's get into the video. Great, so uh, thus we have completed one topic of our storage section. That is my S3 storage. If you go on to the portal also and click on the services under the tab of storage, the first topic is S3. And now we are going to cover another topic that is my EBS, which comes handy in the EC2 dashboard. So if you click on the services and take up the EC2 dashboard, from here you will be able to see the EBS service, which is actually nothing but the volumes, or you can say the storage. Uh, SSD drives or HDD drives that we attach to our laptops and our servers. It's that kind of similar storage that we will be talking about. So if I talk about the on premise term, it is the dash storage that we are talking about. See the section elastic block store under the tab of EC2 dashboard. So we are going to take up that particular that is elastic block storage. If we compare it to NAS sand dash, so it is actually dash and the full form of dash is directly attached storage it behaves also in the same way like as if some storage has been attached to my system although it is not directly attached everything in cloud is virtualized but then it will behave as if it, it is a directly attached storage to your ec2 instance that is the virtual machine that you create in the cloud so the elastic block store we call it as ebs in short form so if you find out in a question in exam the EBS service, so make sure that you understand it with elastic block storage. So the elastic block storage is nothing but the storage that you attach to your virtual machine. That is your EC2 instance. It could vary in sizes. So you can have 10 GB, 100 GB, 50 GB or whatever, you know, amount of storage you can attach on a single drive. Depending upon the type of storage you are selecting, you can go up to TBs in the drive selection. Like if you are taking a general SSD, the, the general storage drives that are used in our EC2 instances, which is solid state drive, which comes up free with our free tier account. So that is known as GP2, general purpose generation to SSD storage. It comes for free to be used by the free tier account for up to 5 GB, uh, sorry, 30 GB. You can use it for free. So that is all that is actually nothing but your elastic block storage. Why we have drawn the diagram in this way? So thus, just to make you understand that the elastic block storage, the service is actually a zone specific service. Now, what do I mean by zone specific service? If you create a elastic block store volume, so volume is nothing but the logical storage block. OK, so if I create a volume in a availability zone US East 1A, that volume can be attached to the EC2 instances which are created in the same availability zone. If I create a volume in us east 1b it can be attached to a ec2 instance which is created in my or launched in my us east 1b availability zone i cannot do cross connection so i cannot attach this volume to this ec2 instance this is not possible because the elastic block storage is a available availability zone specific service with a single EC2 instance, I can attach multiple volumes. Depending upon the type of EC2 instance we are selecting, we can define that how many EC2 inst uh, sorry, how many volumes can be attached to a single instance. Earlier, six months back, I was uh, like, uh, you know, just like the DAS devices, a single volume can be attached only to a single EC2 instance. I cannot attach a EBS to two machines simultaneously. This was not possible some time back. Six months back, this statement was true. But now this statement is false. Now the single EBS volume can even be attached to multiple EC2 instances with a feature called multi attach. With a feature called multi attach. 
so this multi attach feature is not available in all the regions it is only available in specific regions like ohio nv it is available it's not available in all the regions but if you want to use it you can use it in the specific regions and then it is also not available with all kind of elastic block storages which are available it is available with gp2 only at the time of creation and gp gp stands for general purpose third generation it is available at the time of creation also and at the time of afterwards also you can edit this multi attach feature but then if in the interview somebody asks you that can ebs be attached to multiple machines at a time your answer should be yes it can be attached with by enabling the multi attach feature okay so this is what your elastic block storage is some people must be thinking that if the ebs can be attached to multiple machines at a time then why the hell i will be needing this particular file system this is also doing the same task but you know the scalability with this block storage multi attach i can attach a single ebs volume up to maybe you know 20 machines at a time not more than that but with your file system you can attach a single storage location to thousands of machines at a time this is the difference between this so if at some point of time you need to attach a single ebs volume to multiple ec2 instances you can do it up to a limited number of ec2 instances but if you have thousands of employees who want to share a single storage location multi attach is not a feature that you have to use it will be the file storage that will be used we'll be discussing about this later okay this is your file system options that we are going to see now so if you want to attach few instances to your ebs that will be your multi attach feature but if you have want to attach thousands of machines to a single storage location then efs is a answer to your query before moving on to this i want to show you the ebs at the live portal also see over here on our ec2 dashboard on the ec2 dashboard uh, on these counters also i see a option called volumes this volume is nothing but the ebs volumes elastic block store volumes as you see that i have two machines which are running for me so every machine by default i have a volume which is known as root volume on this my operating system gets installed so for my windows machine i have a 30 gb root volume of the type gp2 general purpose generation 2 similarly for my linux machine also i have a 8 gb volume which is attached to it if i want to create some more volumes and attach it to the system i can simply say click create volume provide the size of the volume and say create that's it it will get created and then you can attach it to the machines but only thing that you have to make sure that if your machine is in us east 1e then your volume that you create should also be in us east 1e then only you will be able to attach it to the said instance otherwise you won't be able to do it so suppose say i am creating a 2 gb volume in us east 1e then only this volume can be attached to my machine otherwise i won't be able to attach it yeah see my machine i am on instances my virtual machine of linux is in availability zone us east 1e if i go to the volumes i have created two volumes in front of you one is in us east 1a another is in us east 1e if i click on this and say attach i won't be able to see that particular instance to attach why because i am only able to see the machines which are launched in us east 1a because the volume is in us east 1a but if i select the volume which is in the same availability zone where my ec2 instance is launched and i click on attach i would be easily able to find that linux machine and i'll say attach thus my volume gets attached to my ec2 instance that has been created so that is a practical proof what we are saying theoretically over here that the ebs that is elastic block storage service is a zone specific service the volume that you create in one zone 
can only be attached to the similar zone EC2 instances. It cannot be attached cross zone. If you want to attach it to the cross zone, there is another service of storage known as snapshot that has to be used. Okay. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on Amazon AWS Solution Architect Certification for Beginners. Under this free class, you'll be learning about why and who should learn AWS, cloud services, deployment models, and AWS services as well. And the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs, job opportunities, along with Docker and Kubernetes in AWS, and amazing, amazing stuff. So if you want to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash AWS SA02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now, select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of page. You just have to save this link on the extreme right, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.